So you've managed to access Glean and you're able to log in. And the first thing you'll see is the dashboard. So that is this screen right here. And there's a few things that I want to show you on the dashboard to get you started. So uh, first of all, you can actually customize how Glean looks if you do want to do that. So you can change the theme up here. If you click this little button up here, you can change it. I personally quite like red, so let's keep it as red at the moment. Um, you can also change it from light mode to dark mode if you prefer that. I actually do prefer dark mode because it's a little bit easier on your eyes if you're looking at Glean for an extended period of time, maybe updating your notes. Dark mode's a lot easier on the eyes. So we've got the home tab here, and this is where it will show all of your events. And basically what events are are any recordings that you create. So say you have a lecture for one of your courses, that would be an event. And say you had a tutorial, that would be another separate event. It's basically a new recording is a new event. And you can create a new event by clicking on this button here. We won't do that right now. That will save that for another video. But you can see all of your events are listed on this page. You can organize it by the event name, for example. You can organize it by the collection, which we'll get onto in a little second. And you can organize it by when it was created, which I guess is probably one of the most logical ways to, to organize it. So talking of collections, if we go into our collections tab over here, you can see that I've got quite a few different collections here. If you had different courses, it might be quite a good idea to create a new collection for each of those courses. So if we create a new collection here and we call it, you know, business management one, for example, and then we've created a new collection and we can add a new event to that collection. You can also add events to collections within the event as well. And we'll get onto that a little bit later as well. But that's your collections. And like I said, I'd recommend that you create collections for each of your courses and add each lecture tutorial into each of those collections so you can keep them organized. You can also organize your collections by name, date created, or the total events that they have within them as well. You can uh, go onto your tasks here as well. And this is within each event, you can create a new task. So this basically, you know, for example, read page 43 of, of Logic Textbook, that might be a task that we've got. And then you can organize these tasks by uh, date created, date due, because you can set a due date for each one of them, or you can organize them by name. So it's up to you how you want to do that, but they're kind of here. And once you've completed the task, if you click on this, it's then moved to your completed tasks down here so that you can see which ones you completed, um, and but they kind of don't, you know, get in the way of the ones you're still working on, if that makes sense. You also got a search function here, which is a very powerful tool here. So you can search Glean through all of the notes that you've created. Glean actually transcribes audio. So any anything your lecturer has said, for example, you can search through that because you can transcribe the audio and you can search through any of your tasks as well. So if we search up unsalted butter here and we press unsalted butter, press enter, we can see under how to, how to make scones, this comes up. So if we click on that now, it takes us directly to that bit in our recording that says or mentions unsalted butter. So if we press that and press play, 500 grams of self-raising flour, 150 grams of diced um, unsalted butter. And there we go. So we've found that part in our event that we were looking for. And that's basically the dashboard of Glee.